This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Today we're dealing with a front load washing machine that doesn't go to spin. It goes back and forth slowly like it would during the tumble phase but never really gets going in one direction very fast. This is almost always due to a faulty door lock and pretty easy to repair. You just have to order the door lock, find the best deal online for your particular model. So you just do a model number search and find the term door lock. See who's got the best price and then you can have it sent to your house and the procedure will only take you probably 10 minutes. Pretty easy. Here's one for a Frigidaire front load washing machine. This is the part number. This is actually pretty common to a lot of front load washing machines. And the procedure is pretty easy. We're just going to pry off this ring that holds on the gasket using a standard head screwdriver. We'll peel back the gasket so we can get to the connections. We're going to use a Phillips head screwdriver to spin off these two screws. They're holding the door lock in, into position. These door locks just kind of wear out. There's a little thing called a wax motor and the wax degrades and no longer can move a little piston far enough. But these things, they're not very expensive. So we're going to disconnect these three modular connectors. They just come right off. You just push against a tab behind them and wiggle them off. I'm doing this one-handed because the other hand's holding the camera, so it's taking slightly longer, but it'll probably take you about three seconds. Let's wiggle these off. Then you grab your new door lock and just put these modular connections on to the door lock. They only fit one way, so it's impossible to get it wrong. So we get all three of the new of the connectors on the new door lock, and then we just put it in here between the gasket and the frame, and we have to align these little parts so they can stick through the frame, and then we're going to put on the two Phillips head screws. Another thing that can affect the spin is the motor control unit, but it's less common. This little part does a lot of mechanical action, so it's most likely to fail. Now we're just putting the gasket back on and take your time here make sure you really get this thing fully back on the on the metal lip once that's on we can put the gasket ring the spring clamp or spring ring back into position and we just put a little bit of uh, liquid detergent or liquid hand soap would work as a lubricant all over the metal surfaces of this ring it makes it a lot easier to put on. You can do it without putting on the lubricant, but it's, it's much harder. So now we're going to put the top part on first, and the spring part will be at the bottom at the 6 o'clock position. Now I'm going to use two hands and push in toward the machine, kind of pull it apart at the bottom and get it up over that rubber rim. And then I'm going to use a little standard head screwdriver to help me get the very last part, a little spring underneath the gasket. Make sure this, this is fully on before you try to lock the door, because if it's sticking out, the door won't be able to move in far enough to lock. So using that little screwdriver to get that fully into position, <clears throat> just going to confirm it's all the way in. And we'll close it, give it a test. We set it for drain and spin. And when we start it, we'll see the little door lock light come on. There we go. And then it just gradually will tumble in two directions. And then it'll start to slowly pick up speed in one direction. Then you know, you know you're out of the woods, you know it's working. And eventually it'll <clears throat> go very, very fast will be basically three different speeds you'll notice. It's kind of slow, medium, and then very fast. So it's going in the same direction only, and that means that it's starting its spin cycle. 
machine doesn't want to go to spin if it thinks the door is not locked. And now it has a healthy door lock so it knows it's locked. And now it's picking up some good speed. Takes a little bit of time for it to get up to full speed. Here's full speed, so back to a normal functioning washer. Thanks so much for watching. Please subscribe to our channel when you get a chance. Thank you.